What's up, guys? So, a little something for you to ponder today. A couple days ago, the esteemed Mr. Muller held a little press conference. If you haven't uh, listened to it yet, I would encourage you to. I want to propose something to you as food for thought is <clears throat> directly related to some things that he said. Now, let me preface this. I'm going to lay out a hypothetical scenario. I'm not saying this is what I believe is going to happen. I'm not saying it's absolutely going to happen. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm just throwing it out there as something for you to mull over in your own mind, chew around, ponder, give thought to, and then as you do, watch for signs of it potentially playing out. That way, should it play out, hopefully it will give you the opportunity to be a little bit more uh, heads up on it, out in front of it a little more. <clears throat> also give you the opportunity to kind of war game it in your head should it play out what uh, what measures you would, would want to implement should it happen so here's what I'm pondering and, and I'm going to present to you based off of some things that he said and other past events over the course of the last two years now, I think there's a very strong possibility of this, personally. Could very well be wrong. Honestly, hope I am wrong. Again, hypothetical. <clears throat> what Mueller did the other day was all but sound the horn to rally the troops for the impeachment of the president. Just in the last couple of days since he did that, there have been a lot of Democrats, use that term very lightly, who have jumped on board with it, who previously were not on board with it. Here's my concern in the possible scenario. What if the Democrats, <clears throat> excuse me, socialist communists, what if they use this <clears throat> as an opportunity to push through impeachment in the House? Now, <clears throat> I am fairly certain, since they have the majority, that they could get impeachment through. However, <clears throat> as we all know, after the House impeaches, it's up to the Senate to actually convict. <clears throat> and that's the key part. I'm not sure right now, <clears throat> should the House pass impeachment, whether or not the Senate would or wouldn't convict. On the surface, I think most of us will be tempted to say, now nah, they won't convict. The Republicans still hold a majority there, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Well, let me present this to you, and I'm going to go two directions with this. We don't have a large majority in the Senate. It's a very small one. There are a number of Republicans who are full-blown rhinos who are A, easily intimidated by the Communist Socialists, and B, don't like President Trump. So I'm not convinced one way or the other that a conviction would or would not happen in the Senate. That's a, a, an unknown variable in the whole scenario. Let's move the, 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 the hypothetical further forward and let's say the House impeaches, but the Senate doesn't convict. What if 
the democratic socialist communists are banking on that exact scenario happening and then in turn they are banking on <clears throat> large portion of their voting base who we know are very uneducated when it comes to how the political process works in the country how the Constitution works etc what if they're banking on that base seeing that the house impeached but then the president's still in office and to them not understanding that the Senate has to convict him they use that as their springboard to go all stupid in the streets with an already teeter-tottering economy and a market system that's easily dipped right now widespread uh, violence by them in thinking that incorrectly so but in their minds thinking that they suddenly have a dictator and <clears throat> resort to any means necessary to uh, try to change that where does that lead us if <clears throat> excuse me if all of that were to come true it would lead us to a very very bad place really fast you've heard plenty of folks talk about potential civil war issues you've heard plenty of folks talk about potential economic issues in my mind that could hypothetically be what sets off that perfect storm of those two things colliding at the same time the economy reacting to that particular <clears throat> voting base, which I loathe even calling them that, but unfortunately they are, and the Democratic Socialists banking on their ignorance to intentionally make this happen, all the while able to have plausible deniability and throw their hands up, well, you know, we're, as Congress, we did our job, you know, we followed the rules and not come out and actually inform those people, hey, you know, just because we impeach doesn't mean that the president actually gets removed from office. I think that's a strong possibility, to be quite honest. Will it happen? I don't know. And that's why I'm throwing this out there, just again as a possible scenario to keep your eyes on and keep watch on. I've been running that by some friends of mine that are a lot smarter than me on some of this, and they are extraordinarily concerned about the exact same potential issue happening. Don't think <clears throat> that these people aren't working in a calculated manner. Mueller, everybody associated with that whole fiasco and that farce of an investigation, all these people, everything they do is calculated and for a reason you got to pay attention to that, you got to take note of that, and unfortunately you got to start extrapolating pieces here and there and formulating these what-ifs because one day one of these what-ifs might not be a what-if anymore. It might be a reality. Um, praying constantly that they aren't, but the reality is they could be a reality. It's a double entendre, I think, I don't know. Could be wrong. Anyway, watch this stuff closely in the coming weeks, months, especially, I'm going to guess, <clears throat> if we start seeing a lot of this stuff ramped up over the summer and picking up towards the fall, from this fall until the election next year, I think that's going to be the biggest potential time for something to happen if it were going to. So, again, weathered eye on the horizon, as the old saying goes, and uh, mull this over. Think about if it did happen, what plans would you want in place? What equipment and supplies would you want in place? Et cetera, et cetera. Start wargaming all that in your head. Make some lists. Write some things down. Um, figure out, you know, what you would do. Again, wargaming it. That's why wargames are done, okay? 
if A happens, I'm going to do B. If B happens, I'm going to do C, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all for this one, guys. Just wanted to toss that out there for your uh, pontification. Take care. Stay safe. I will talk to you later.